What is up you guys, JDog here. How are you guys doing tonight? If you guys are new to my channel, please consider hitting that subscribe button and leaving a like on the video and comment down below. And if you guys already are subscribed, thank you so much, I appreciate it. And also leave a like on the video. So in today's video, I am gonna be talking to you guys about this haunted park in Las Vegas, Nevada. Well, technically not Las Vegas, but it is in Henderson, which is a suburb of Las Vegas. And this park's name is called Fox Ridge Park. And it's located on Valle Verde and Warm Springs in Henderson. So, and I've seen this online real quick. And I've heard rumors. I don't know if they're true or not. And I'm trying to talk to locals, see if they know anything about this. But supposedly a little boy was playing ball at this park a long time ago. Ball went into the street and the little boy ran after the ball, got hit by a supposed drunk driver and was killed. And now he is said to haunt the swing sets at this park. Not the little baby ones, but the big head ones. And there's only two of them. Now also rumor has it is the school that's right behind the park is also haunted. I don't know how true that is, but I know that the park is haunted. So, since I moved out to Vegas back in 2018, which was two years ago, I've gone to this park, I want to say four, maybe five times. I know I've gone twice by myself, and I've gone twice with family. And let's just say that the first time I went, nothing really happened. Second time I went with my, first time I went with my family, I had some crazy stuff happen. I used an EMF detector. And I put it up against the uh, swing pole and it was spiking to red. And there's no logical explanation to why it spiked to red. If there was no electricity going through a pole of a swing set. And I went to the little kid one, the baby ones, and nothing happened. When I went to the other one, the big kid one where the little boy supposedly haunts the uh, swing set. I ended up getting a spike of almost 300, which was red on the AMF detector. So there's that. Third time I went, that was when my family from Chicago came. We went. I took a lot of pictures. I got some decent photos there. And a lot of paranormal stuff happened there. And the last time I went was about a week and a half to two weeks ago. And I did about 100 still shot photos 65 70 with flash and then 25 30 without flash and there were five out of all those photos only five had something that showed up in the photos like uh, a mist type figure and one photo in general actually freaked me out and it was between 50 and 55 so these photos i was doing with flash and the first two of that that set of five showed up with flash the last two of that set of five showed up with flash the middle photo the 53rd photo i took i know flash was on but when i look back at the photo there was no flash it was dark but the two before and the two after had the flash so that made me think like oh my god was something actually here when I was when I went with my family from Chicago back in early middle of September, when we went, I did catch a couple pictures with some mist around the swing set, which was surprising. But I am gonna add this uh, video at, to the end of this video, and it was when we went to this park, and we were. I was recording. When I was talking to my mom about something, I told her how with the videos that I take at that park, especially when I'm looking at the swings recording, how the uh, camera malfunctions. Well, I can't really say malfunctions, but it automatically zooms in and zooms out, like gets really blurry out of nowhere. And then a few seconds later, it like fixes itself. So we were there and after I was done talking to my mom about that, and I was recording it. My mom asked the question. She was like, "If there, if the little, if you or your little boy make the swing move right, 
now and on the word now my camera zoomed in and zoomed out like it went out of focus and it came right back and i did not touch anything so real quick i'm just going to show you guys okay this is i'm going to just zoom in on this video real quick this is i can't even do it darn it but anyway but you know what I, you know what i'm saying so hang on so yeah, I can't do it in um, selfie mode, but if I was doing it in the other mode, I would be able to zoom in and out. But I was holding my tripod, so I have one hand free. I always have one hand on the side of me, and I'm, I'm holding my tripod with my other hand. So that's what I was doing, and it just automatically, like right on the word, now, my camera zoomed in, went out of focus, and then came right back out. And I stopped the video right away because I was freaked out. And I showed my mom. I'm like, oh my God, mom, you got to see this. And she was like, what? I replayed the video for her, but I didn't play the whole video. I only went to that ending part of the video. And I showed my mom what it was. And she couldn't believe it. She's like, oh my God, that's freaky. So, yes, I'm into paranormal stuff. In that park, I have gotten some decent stuff. And I'm definitely going to be going back there once I get better equipment i am going to give me an e2 reader which is a evp reader which basically checks like electronic uh not evps but that's electronic voice phenomenons but um it's going to be a, a machine where you just use and it tells you if there's electricity around or whatnot so i'm going to do that i'm going to get one off of amazon probably within the next week or so once i get that i'm going to go to the park that i can record and show you guys what it actually does when I'm there. But this park, honestly, it is freaky. I've never gone during the day, so I don't know how much like paranormal stuff happens during the day. But when I went like a week and a half to two weeks ago, it freaked me out because it was eight o'clock at night, and I was getting a lot of like good like hard evidence that this place is haunted. When me and my family went. When my mom and my brother came in from Chicago back in September, I got decent evidence, and this was around 11, 30, 12. And supposedly this little boy haunts the swings at around midnight. The very first time I ever went to this park was around 3, 3, 3 15 in the morning, and that was when I was working nights at work. And after work, I went straight to the park, wanted to do an investigation, see what was happening, and nothing really showed up. I was going to wait until 3, 33 and come back. And see if anything happened, but obviously didn't go back. So, but one of these days I'm going to do an investigation late at night over there and hopefully see how it goes. I'm honestly planning on maybe going there Halloween, October 30th over into October 31st. Or I might go there Halloween night and do an investigation there as well. So that'll be good. Hopefully I'll have my um, EVP box gear my r2 meter gear by then because i am ordering it this week so that's a good thing so hopefully by halloween i have it and i could go there also i am planning on doing the card game ritual yet again sometime this month since it is spooky season now it is october i would definitely get another scary video out for you guys soon other than that though leave a like on this video and please watch all the way to the end so you can see that video from the park when me and my family, as well as my parents and my brother went back in September. And you can see how the camera did malfunction on its own. Hope you guys are all doing well. Stay safe. Love you all. Leave a like on the video. And please subscribe. Peace out. Later. So right now I'm at Fox Ridge Park. Talking about this ghost that haunts this swing. Or that swing. So I want to see if anything happens. No. I'm just waiting for my camera malfunction. Why is that what happens? Mm -hmm. What is the shadow right here? That, that? That's me. Oh, wait. No, this. What is the shadow right here? Oh, that's the bar. Is it? It's, no. No, it's the bar. No, it's not.
It's the bar. Yeah, it's the bar. Oh, right. Yeah, it's the bar. Yeah, I know. I want that. That one's moving. That one's moving a tiny yeah. bit. Yeah. Okay. Okay. My dad. Can you make the swing move? He does. See, yeah. <laughs> see, it's like every time the mic circle pops up, yeah. it's like <laughs> auto focusing. Like it cannot focus on the swing for some reason. Back. You should go back to the voice one. But see how it keeps doing that, and it, it goes white and orange. It's like not, it's like not focusing correctly on the swings. Yeah. So and this happens all the time. So, so it's telling so you. There's something. There's some. Yeah. There's obviously something here. Yeah. But it, when it does that, it just. It's like it cannot focus. Sometimes. Sometimes. It, it gets. It gets. It'll get really blurry. I dare you, to move this swing. Are you watching? Are you gonna make a video? No, I'm gonna take some pictures.